uh, for data. If I click on any of these clips and do a right mouse click and go to properties, I can take a look at how that's put together with the metadata. So if I come in here, I see that it's 19, 20, 1080. Uh, pixel aspect ratio is 1.0. I've got my data rate uh, at a very low uh, 4.3, which is great. And if I come down here, I can just read all of the other uh, information that's on here. How many audio channels, uh, what type of device this uh, was shot with a uh, um, you know, camera model EX1, and the serial number of the camera, and so forth. So that's just a quick look at, uh, at the information that comes up under the properties. So it's very nice. You've got lots of metadata. Uh, to look at there. But from here, it's really just a matter of, of knowing how to edit with, uh, with Premiere. I can uh, immediately start working with this footage. It has not been converted to any particular intermediate codec. It's just native um, MPEG-4 information directly off the camera and directly off the card. And if I just grab my pointer and I'm going to go ahead and hold down um, the control key on Windows or option on the Mac, I can go ahead and just start to uh, work on my, uh, my rough cut and sort of put this, this video together. And again, this is very similar to the other demos um, that we've done um, you know, many, many times with, uh, with Premiere. If I uh, want to see this particular clip in full screen, I can move my arrow over to the program window, hit the tilde key, and just play that out full screen. You know, nice frame rates, nice and smooth, and just great looking video. Again, it's just, you know, a really nice uh, feature to be able to work with this footage natively and not have to worry with conversion times and all this sort of thing. The other thing that's great is I can use this footage, even though I'm editing on a Mac, I can create my rough cut here on my Mac laptop and then carry this directly over uh, to uh, my desktop PC. Maybe I've got a, a PC with a AJA or Blackmagic or Matrox card in it. And I want to continue editing this and doing some special things uh, to, the, to the files as well, real-time color correction and lots of different things like that. So it's just a, a, an excellent feature to be able to, uh, to do that. And again, I can interact with, uh, with other Adobe programs. So if I want to uh, jump over to uh, After Effects, for example, let's go ahead and jump over to After Effects and create a quick title, an animated title in After Effects. Okay, so here I am in After Effects. I'm just going to create a new composition. And let's just go ahead and set it up for full HD. Nineteen twenty ten eighty is fine. And then in here, I'll just set my, uh, my time to five seconds. And now I've got my composition. If I just want to create a quick title, I'll go ahead and do that really fast. And let's say we want to go ahead and animate this. I'll move this down here. We're going to go to Effects and Presets. Browse Presets. Okay, once I'm in the Presets folder, I'm going to go ahead to Text and just choose a quick, uh, a quick text that looks good. I've always been a fan of this one, so I'll double click on this 3D one and go ahead and play that out. And that looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this over to Premiere Pro. The first thing I'm going to do is come in here and save this project. And I'm going to grab the comp. I'm going to hit Command Tab or Control Tab on the PC bring it right back over to Premiere and drop it inside the Premiere project bin and just put my title directly on my clip here and then go ahead and play that back. And one thing to keep in mind is uh, you know you can come back at any time and make your change inside of After Effects. We talk about this uh, routinely but if I wanted to come over here just change some of that text around. I can uh, I can do that. Let's go back over to Premiere, and you'll notice when we play that out, the text change is going to happen. 
right there. So it makes a really nice feature to be able to do that. And again, coming back over here to After Effects, I can go ahead and render this out inside of After Effects and you'll see the green line filling in there as it fills up the RAM bucket. And if I go back over to Premiere Pro, um, it'll now play back uh, a lot faster, just like so. So really nice. And again, at any time I want to hit the tilde key and look at that in full screen, and I'm going to and go back to my screen. So all the things that you've come to know about Premiere Pro and its ease of use work great with this new XD Cam uh, footage here. Another feature um, I'll show you is just being able to do a quick picture in picture using uh, EX. What you'll notice is I've grabbed this last clip here, and I'm going to go ahead and just put this barge scene in a picture in picture, move this down like so, and go ahead and play that out. And you'll see it does a uh, it does a fairly decent job of playing this back. It's it's playing back two MPEG four streams. Okay, we can take a look at a couple other things uh, that are nice uh, in Premiere Pro for those of you that aren't real familiar with it. These aren't necessarily special things to EX, but just in case it's the first time you're taking a look at Premiere Pro and you want to just see some of the flexibility, I would recommend you go to some of the other videos that we've got online and uh, check out some of the basic uh, Premiere Pro stuff. But just a couple of quick things to show you. You can double click on this folder and this is going to bring up another bin window. We call it Flex Bin. So for as many folders as you have created in your project bin, and again, to create a folder, you just click on the folder down here, you can have uh, multiple flex bins open. What's nice about this is you can click on the icon view, and it puts it in more or less a storyboard view. You can open up the storyboard window or the icon view, go up to the wing menu over here, and just clean up the thumbnails and that'll just stretch them out. Now you can start to lay out your rough cut if you didn't shoot it in sequence and start to move some of these particular clips around uh, to the order uh, that's going to be best for you. So if you wanted to use this seagull for example as an opening shot you could certainly do that there and just go ahead and uh, and work on your rough cut and that's that's a great feature you can then you know select all the clips from here sort of move this out of the way and then drag and drop uh, all of your clips directly onto the timeline so there's a lot of flexibility in Premiere Pro uh, just in the way that it works and again if it's a couple other things that are uh, really cool to look at um, you'll notice when I go to file new Photoshop file. Maybe I want to do some still titling uh, in Photoshop. The Photoshop is now going to look at the size of the project that I've created and then make an appropriate title safe window to match. Okay, and when I go to my image size here and I look at this, you'll see that Photoshop already knows that it's 1920 1080, which is what it should do. And if you go to pixel aspect ratio, it should tell me it's square pixels. So from this point, I can just go in and start working on my Photoshop files. I'm going to go ahead and double click on this bird shot here. And I'm going to go ahead and just export that out as a frame. And I'm going to go back into Photoshop. I'm going to open up that bird, which will be sitting out on my desktop. And I'm going to move that down. And you'll see it's just a very, very nice, clean capture. And I'll just use one of the new uh, tools that we've got inside of Photoshop called the Quick Selection Tool. And I'll just start to, uh, to pick up uh, some of this information on this bird here. That's probably pretty good there. And I'm going to hold down my Alt key or Option key on the Mac and just tell it not to include this area over here. And that looks fairly, uh, fairly decent. And I'm going to hit Refine Edge. And that looks pretty good. And now let's go ahead and just drag the bird onto the screen here that looks pretty good and maybe we'll just scale him down a bit and he'll start to be the beginning of my title and let's just grab